These highlights are proudly brought to you by Campolina, thoroughbred racing and breeding. And Landserve, delivering sustainable environmental solutions. Welcome to the 2013 Bike Buller Mountain Bike Festival, presented by Giant. <laughs> Today we're here for Bike Buller Festival and uh, today we've got a tough stage, 50k stage, uh, over to Stirling and, and many trails. Um, and also today there's a 30 kilometre option and uh, that takes in all the sites of Buller and Stirling and later in the day there's a kids race as well. And then tomorrow's uh, pretty much all descending so as many descents as you can get in with the chairlift ride to the top. Uh, sounds easy, but uh, it will certainly be very tough on the body and, and the arms. And then um, Monday's stage is a 25 kilometre cross country. Um, there'll be some challenging uh, climbing and, and trails in there, no doubt. It, uh, yeah, it won't be half as easy as today's, that's for sure. So we started here in the mountain village of Mount Buller and we rode up some pretty steep climbs and yeah, went into the trails and uh, there was a select group after the first few like super hard climbs and there was about three or four of us going into the iconic Stonefly Trail and then that led us up to Mount Stirling and then on that climb up to Stirling I made a bit of a gap on the other riders and we uh, we progressed from there over to the other side of Sterling and then there was a big loop for us and then the 30k riders got to cut that off which so they were pretty lucky there but we had some wicked trails over that area and yeah I was by myself for probably the last 20k or something so it was um, it was a really good experience and just able to ride my own pace and enjoy the trails. It was a super interesting event because we actually got to take the chairlift for one of the last sections which uh, yeah, it's quite unique here in Buller to be able to utilise the facilities that they have here from the winter and yeah, it's um, really fun times. My aim is just to have fun and enjoy an awesome weekend with all the big mountain bike community they have up here. It's a bit of a slog, I went out too hard at the start, just just really battled, I made myself sick quite early, I actually had to get off the bike and, and gather myself and then get back into it and uh, yeah, picked a few off and got into a rhythm and, and came good. Didn't have much chance of taking the beauty, I did, I did get a glimpse of the view up off the, uh, off the spur, off the ridge a couple of times, uh, uh, beautiful up there but uh, yeah the heart rate was up pretty high and it was lots of fun, lots of, lots of fast descending in there and grinding climbs. But, uh, yeah, I was glad, glad when the 50k mark came up and we had a chairlift ride at the end. So all in all, did you enjoy it or not? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. All the kids have done a 10k course. You could do one lap or two laps. I just did two laps and come in second. And yeah, it was good. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. You must be pretty stoked with that, are you? Yeah. Great, well done buddy and, and tell me about the course, where did it go and was it all off road or was it we partly started on the road? Off, we started off on a long road that went into single track uh, for about 5k and went back onto a road again and just did the same lap. Yeah. Great, and you did, you did some stuff on the dirt and you yep. did some twisty bits, did you go yep. through some trees somewhere or something? A few technical bits, very, you had to be fit to do it, yeah. Great, you yeah. feel pretty fit, you reckon you're alright? Yeah, I was alright, I did it well, yeah. yeah. I don't feel fit and I don't feel ready to go, but I don't have much choice, so it's, uh, yeah, no, it should be good fun. Really looking forward to it. Infamous or famous? I think uh, infamous. I don't know, mate, depends how you use those pads. Well, I'm hoping not to. <laughs> here, here. Today we're here for the brake burner, essentially a four and a half hour downhill, uh, or cross country and downhill, with a bit of a chair lift up in the middle to make it a bit easier for us. About that 20, 25 minute loop down, um, downhill to the bottom of the chairlift across a variety of tracks and then um, hop on the chairlift with your bike and come back, back up to the top and I think there's prob you probably get in three or four loops. I've just come down for the weekend from Canberra and um, did four laps to the top course and then came down the bottom and uh, you know it's just amazing to descend for that long. <laughs> I think the best part of the top loop is just before you get to the chairlift there's, a, there's some beautiful single track section with berms and some, um, you know, some built-up burns that have got timber sections and that sort of thing. That's 
That's amazing, that stuff. Is, you can fly through there. And then there's a sort of cut-off time and you uh, take a longer downhill run to Marimba, right down the bottom mountain. I think it's 12 and a half k's is the, the final descent. Great yeah. track, awesome, awesome downhill from the village. A um, bit rocky at the start when you first come over the edge, you're sort of right on the brakes all the time, but after that you get into the really flowy stuff, it's just awesome. Cruising down and around berms and over little jumps, and it's just fantastic. When you get down to the river, you're just over the log bridges, there's about five log bridges, it's just awesome, you flow on them and then off, it's just, just great. Uh, a few little puddles just to keep you cool, but really awesome. Then you come down to the village here, fantastic. You can hear the music from a fair way out, so that always <laughs> People that uh, didn't want to do the laps at the top could have just done the descent and uh, that would have been a really good day. Yeah, we're at, uh, at the end of the race and it's at uh, Mirambar, uh, picnic in the park. Uh, Superman on the chest, but a uh, bit of a blood lip there, mate. What yeah, happened? Yeah, so going down a bit of rock and just went straight over. Lovely. Face plant? Yeah. Oh, ouch. And uh, how'd you pull up, mate? You get up and going again? Yeah, just get going and went past about 10 other people. <laughs> Fantastic. Good. Bike all right, body yeah, all right. Fine. No Life's problem. okay. Yeah. You had a good day nonetheless? Yeah, great fun. We're up here for the last day of races in Mount Buller. Well, it's the 25 kilometre Cornhill Cracker. We'll be heading down uh, Cophead and back up to Cornhill, uh, Mitzi Twist, back into the village. 25k race today, uh, should be pretty sweet. Right to the top of the mountain, up to where the Blue Bullet is, and then um, down all the signature trails and back around into the village for a, a top 25k cross country race. Pretty tough start on the Rocky Fire Road. Went to single track, felt a lot more comfortable, so yeah, but. It's going to be hot, but had enough body in. Yeah, the tracks are awesome for sure. Good single track, but my bike likes single track. Um, but there's a lot of dust and a lot of skating around and a few spills and thrills. Gives you a chance to overtake them. <laughs> when I first got into mountain biking, I thought, this is just like skiing. It's just like slalom skiing. Getting through the berms, it's, just, it's an awesome mountain biking. Right. And I've done all sorts of cycling. I've done track, I've done road, and I think mountain biking is probably the most fun. Did you, uh, did you see any snakes? No, no, not one. <laughs> <laughs> or wallabies or anything else for that matter. <laughs> oh, fantastic. What a day. Yeah. Beautiful weather, fantastic yeah. trails. Very lucky, I think, in a few parts. How's that? <laughs> oh, not to uh, hit a rock and uh, find the <laughs> side of the slope. All I saw was the, uh, the tire of the guy in front just <laughs> look down and keep pedaling. I didn't, uh, didn't know if there'd be anything left in the legs, but uh, no, it worked out all right. Peter, spoke to you yesterday, mate, down the bottom of uh, the mountain after your big descend. Uh, and here we are on the final day. How was it, mate? Yeah, I had to drag my body out of bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How'd you go? Uh, all right, I think. Yeah. You yeah. think? What do you, what, what, you don't know whether you went okay or not? What do you, uh, you think? I did all right. Yeah. Yeah, good. You enjoyed yourself? Uh, well, pleasure, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hard work at the time, but afterwards, it feels better afterwards. Yeah. It's been a bit tough to come over from Perth, so we don't have any hills, so it's been a bit of an eye opener to climb, those sort of, nice sort of climbs. Uh, this fly, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're looking for maggots or... Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping to go and get it covered so there's no maggots in it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's as good as skiing or better, I reckon, because, you know, you just seem to have the summer weather as well, which is great. Great weekend, thank you, yeah. Fantastic weekend, this is the best place to be. Yeah, it was great. Fantastic event. These highlights are proudly brought to you by Campolina, thoroughbred racing and breeding. And Landserve, delivering sustainable environmental solutions.